Hi, my name is Jim Weigman. I'm a licensed realtor with the Realty One Group here in Las Vegas, and I'm your guy when it comes to real estate. Hey, last video we talked about exactly what a short sale is, and I want to spend a couple of minutes now starting to get into the short sale process. You know, I've got lots of sellers and lots of buyers that are involved in short sales. And how can't you be? Nearly a quarter of the available properties right now in Las Vegas are, are tied up in some type of a short sale transaction. So it's pretty important that you do things the right way. You need to understand that the banks don't necessarily have a high motivating factor for wanting to get a short sale completed. So it's extra important that you do things in a timely manner and do things correctly. And of all, above all, be honest with the bank in the short sale process, or you might find yourself getting a file rejected or turned back and a lot of delays. I usually tell my, my, my clients, and, and, and excuse me for this analogy, but it's sort of like a financial colonoscopy, and that a bank is going to be looking at every aspect of your financial life. So when you go to select your realtor, especially if you're selling a property that needs to go through a short sale process, a couple of things. I usually don't like to do short sales for friends or for relatives unless I have a really good relationship with them because the financial details and the financial confidences that will be exposed through this short sale process as a result of the bank's audit and scrutinizing of your file and your financial history is going to be critical and it's a core point to them making the decision on what they're going to accept for the final purchase price of your home. So, be careful who you select, make sure you trust them, and above all, be honest. There are several things that you need to have ready for your short sale. You have to have a good hardship letter. We'll talk about that in the next video, what the content needs to be. You should be prepared to turn over at least a couple of years of tax returns, two months of recent bank statements, that includes all pages, current wage uh, statements if you have such a thing, pay stubs. If you're on unemployment, send the unemployment stubs in. You're going to need to have um, uh, you know, uh, financial statements, an assessment of your net worth, what you owe, what you currently make, a complete disclosure of all that information. A good realtor, and hopefully I'm your guy, can help you through that preparation, but if not, make sure that you are working with a partner that will help you in that process. Till we talk again, have a great day, and remember, when it comes to real estate, I'm your guy. Bye-bye.